Why is it maps of European countries include Russia, but maps of Asian countries also include Russia? Is Russia in Europe or is Russia in Asia? How can it be in two places at once? Well, it's complicated. So let's start with what exactly is a continent? There are many contradicting ways that continents are defined. Some say it's a large expanse of continuous land that's separated from other continents by water. However, Greenland's considered an island, while Australia gets to be called a continent, sort of. If this definition was the only one that we followed, North and South America would be considered one large continent, since the only thing separating them is the man-made Panama Canal. Same thing goes for the Suez Canal that separates Africa from Asia. Other ways that continents are defined are using the tectonic plates, or using boundaries based off of cultural differences. A combination of these definitions is how we've come to the conclusion that there are seven continents. However, geographers are now saying that maybe it should only be six. Asia and Europe are actually on the same tectonic plate. This leads many to call it Eurasia, a supercontinent. So what does split Eurasia into Asia and Europe? As always, it's complicated. See, way back in 700 BC, Greek geographers had split the known world into three parts, Asia, Europe, and Africa. The border of Asia and Europe was along the Rioni River in present-day Georgia. By 320 BC, the division had moved to follow the Don River, west of the Urals in present-day Ukraine. It wasn't until 1725 when German geographer Philipp Johann von Strahlenberg used the modern-day boundary along the Ural Mountains that we got a more geographically significant border. Unfortunately, there's still some problems with this method of splitting Asia and Europe. Aside from being a vague border that still confuses many people, the Urals go straight through Russia. This brings us to the original question, is Russia in Europe or is Russia in Asia? So according to experts, maps, professionals in the world of politics, about 77% of Russia is located within the borders of Asia. Yet, of the over 144 million people that live in Russia, 75% live on the European side. In the end, Russia is truly a one-of-a-kind country that is part of two continents at once. Well, sort of one-of-a-kind. Because the thing is, there's other countries in the same boat. Turkey, Russia's nearby neighbor, is also on multiple continents. France has a territory on almost every continent around the world, and Egypt's northeastern corner actually resides in Asia, though the rest is in Africa. Okay, so Russia isn't the one-of-a-kind intercontinental country that it seems to be at first glance. However, it's still very unique. Very few countries have so many cultures and heritages within its borders. So while most of the Russian population is in Europe and many call it a European country, Russia, just like the people that live there, is a blend of both Asia and Europe. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, subscribe for more trivia-related videos and go to sporkle.com for even more content and quizzes.